Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Andrew Sinambangina Nkwenla and welcome to Crashy Like Sinambangina Nkwenla. You do to subscribe, click on your post notification bell that each time I post a video, you are the first person to be notified. As you can see from the title of the video, I'm reacting to the TB Joshua kind of document documentary and how I feel about it. Although I haven't watched the entire thing, not even a clip of it. You know, it is what it is, so let's get into that video. So, happy new year to everybody. So, if it is the first time you do it, to subscribe and it won't actually cost you anything. So, as you can see from the title, guys, let me just first read your comment and see what you guys have been saying. So after reading all this, you know, truth be told, I I just have genuine love for, you know, for the lady B. Joshua. But, you know, I, I, I never used to watch most of the, the same one, but I sometimes, yeah, I would. And I just told myself, I'm not going to watch the, the documentary. So I originally don't know anything about the documentaries because i knew i was going to behave so guys let me just read some of your comments and see what you guys have been saying uh so this first comment is from nancy which says it's so unfair to lay such accusation on the dead vengeance is for the lord i believe so too but the documentary to those that have watched and the comments that i've read it's it's kind of eye-opening that you need to have the data from the bible and you know and yeah the truth will set you free so this other one is from Dorcas. they cannot manage to change our minds on what we know about uh the man of god which i believe so too because i said and i mentioned that i had genuine love for him so i couldn't watch the documentary so because i know i was going to be hit and i couldn't believe so i'll just let it be and just like watch uh see most of the comments so this other comment says his pure soul still lives and it's irritating most of the demons and they're remembering how he used to do most of his great work. So this other comment says that um, this whole documentary is so draining which is also my point because someone is already dead and they cannot defend themselves um yeah so at the end of all the comments that i've been reading because you know i've just told myself that i'm not going to you know watch something that is going to hit me more because part of my spirit you know kind of believed most of his work human humanitarian work and you'd ask a bbc why didn't you do you know like a documentary looking at how he lived his life how he dashed people's souls and whatnot so this is this other comment that um also is kind of an eye opener to the rest of uh, the christian community which says know god for yourself and it is your personal race yeah and i it kind of makes sense because most of believers they dwell much more on prophets and whatnot because at the end of the day even your prayers can actually set you free so guys what do you have to say in the comment section based on the documentary itself and i still stand with you know come what me i'm still not going to watch the documentary itself so this this woman is part of the documentary and now she has gone viral and she's now a meme so one thing that i've been asking myself if you see somebody has done something wrong like why not come out when they are still alive so that they can be persecuted for the wrongs that they've been doing now that he's gone like who are you trying to hit the family or him because him like the dead know nothing so at the end of the day, you know, people in slavery, people were tortured and whatnot. Like, you guys, where were you? This is a question that I'm asking. And BBC, like, why are you doing this documentary now? Why didn't you do the documentary when he was still alive? Even when he was still alive, people still hated him, even for the good things that he did. Guys, it is what it is. You do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to share your, what you have to say in the comment section not that i'm a lifestyle vlogger i'll see you in the next video